The cost of not doing anything is really morally unacceptable in the modern world. It would be hunger, malnutrition, poverty, uh, people denied the opportunity to live full lives. We talk a lot about yield with growers, but in many cases what you're trying to do is minimize the risk of growers. They're looking for that steady supply of yield, which is a steady supply of income that can allow them to send their kids to college or put more food on the table. Machinery, mechanization is extremely important in order to produce the rice that is needed, but also to keep young people engaged in agriculture uh, through easier work in the farm, but also through uh, better in uh, income opportunities. We're looking at the glycemic index of rice to try and make rice healthier. We're looking at contaminants in rice, making sure that the rice that we all eat is healthier. We're looking at many different issues in rice production to ensure that the rice that lands on our plate, in our bowl, or on our banana leaf is exactly what it should be, healthy and nutritious. I strongly believe in years to come, our collaborative efforts with ERI would bring revolutionary technology for the Indian system and the Indian farmers. It can bring examples and, and experiences from a very large number of other countries and continents, combining their efforts with local partners, including with the, with the public sector partners, private sector partners, uh, the non-government organizations in country can bring tremendous value. We can transform people's lives by providing them with the means to move away from just struggling for food security, to reinvest in their own future, in education, in health, in uh, well-being, so that they can improve their own lives and they can gain a measure of economic independence for the future.